NFL Network now on the Westwood One Ray Radio Network. The Giants continue doing their pre-draft homework as they prepare for the sixth overall selection in the upcoming NFL Draft. Bringing in quarterback prospects Bo Nix and Spencer Rattler for visits this week, according to NFL Network insiders Ian Rappaport and Mike Garofolo. Meantime, current Giants quarterback Daniel Jones, who's recovering from a torn ACL he suffered last season, says he's the best starting option for New York in 2024. Top quarterback prospect Terry and Arnold wrapped up his pre-draft visits this week, meeting with the Eagles, according to NFL Network insider Tom Pelissero, and Cooper DeGene, another top cornerback prospect who has only had four pre-draft visits due to his late pro day and recovery from a fractured fibula, has spent time with the Steelers, Seahawks, Eagles, and Bills, according to Ian Rappaport. The 2024 NFL Draft kicks off one week from today on April 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern on NFL Network. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. The countdown is on for the 2024 NFL Draft, presented by Bud Light. Catch all seven rounds, three days, live from Detroit. April 25th to 27th with NFL Network Draft coverage presented by Verizon. And on ABC, ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and streaming on NFL+. Plus. It all starts Thursday, April 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Visit NFL.com slash draft for more information. Presented by Verizon, the official 5G network of the NFL. We are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230 KXO, El Centro, California. Good day. It's a Thursday, already the 18th day of April 2024. I'm Carol in the newsroom, Jared. Good morning, Jared. Hey, Carol. Beautiful day. It is. It is. Walked out this morning, and uh, the birds were just... It, it was a symphony of birds, only and, not uh, too early, like uh, by my house. Yeah, well, I think they all had uh, some Red Bull in one, uh, yeah, one hand, and and uh, some espresso with a double shot in the other hand. That's how they got wings. Yeah, they uh, they were uh, they were boisterous. Okay, loud, and uh, you know that early mornings the best part of the day. So. Especially for the birds, and uh, you know we uh, we have bird feeders, and uh, it's fun to watch. So we get uh, uh, there's a a resident woodpecker, a, a male and a female that we see regularly, and uh, the other evening an oriole was oh. at the uh, bird feeder. The Oreo. The Oriole. <laughs> yes, bird, as in Baltimore Oriole. Yes. The joke is that in uh, what was it? Uh, was it Rock and Robin? And yes. Growing up, I used to think they were saying, "I'll pop the buzzer in the Oreo." Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not the cookie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> and of course, uh, love the mockingbirds. Um, they are apparently they've got uh, in the backyard. One of the trees in the backyard, again, they have a nest, and I walked a little bit close to the tree, and I got dive-bombed. Oh, yeah, those things are vicious. <laughs> oh, don't get too close, okay? Ah, so, uh, what's going on? You're going to be busy today, right? Yes, we have IVC Career Day, College and Career Day. You're going to have a bunch of uh, high school students, college students, and I think middle school students, parents. Yeah, anybody who's interested in uh, checking out different careers, they're going to be offering uh, down at IVC, I guess, uh, help you get started on a career pathway, as they say. Okay, and they'll, uh, I understand there'll be schools there and also uh, potential employers. Yes, yes, yeah, potential okay. employers. And it's the type of thing where also I think IVC does it to kind of help people understand, look, these things are available in the Imperial Valley. And, you know, if you take a couple of classes with us, you, you'll be qualified <laughs> yes. to, to work for some of these people, you know? Yep. I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's a good, good deal out there. I like it. Okay. How about some birthdays? Birthdays. I like that, too. 
Big Shot Birthdays, actor Robert Hooks, 82. Haley Mills, 73. She was a Disney actress back in the day. I don't know if she has done anything since, what was it, Double Trouble or something like that, where she played, uh, she played uh, twins. That'd be kind of hard, but she managed it. Actor James Woods, 72. Actor, actress Cindy Pickett, she was in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, she's 72. Actor Rick Moranis, 66. Actor Eric Roberts, 63. Actor John James, 63. Actress Jane Leaves from Frasier, 58. Ventriloquist Jeff Dunham is 57. Conan O'Brien, 56. Actor Eric McCormick is 56. Actress Maria Bello, 52. Actress Mary Birdsong, 51. Actor David Hewlett, 51. No relation to Packard. Actress uh, Pedro Starr is 48. Actor David Tennant, 48. Actress Melissa Joan Hart, 43. Actor Bryce Johnson, 42. Actress America Ferrara is 35. Actor Tom Hughes, 34. Other birthdays today include actress Chloe Bennett, 27. Actor Moises Arias is 25. And all that big, long list of big shot birthdays, we've got a short list full of quality on our local birthdays. We have happy birthday wishes today for Jesse Liara. Chava Coriel, Gina Rivas, Luis Sandoval, Esmeralda Sandoval, Chad Everett, Dolores Virgil, Justin Keating, and Trinka Noriega. Happy birthday from KXO. And, uh, okay, we mentioned you're going to be at IVC today for their college and career day. Uh, you, <laughs> you have uh, uh, participation gifts as well, don't you? Oh, we got... Well, I, well, I bought about 200 pieces of candy, 200 lollipops, and then I got with Gene Brister. We started talking because he's going to be out there with me, and I'm like, hey, I got the candy. He's like, oh, well, I got candy too, so we're going to have double candy. Yeah, 400 lollipops to give away. That That's our gifts today. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, we'll be lucky if uh, you know Gene doesn't eat them all. Uh, well, like yes, uh, he has a habit of that. Are they lollipops or suckers? Suckers. Well, like, what's the difference? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I do know that uh, at one time I had a, uh, a particular uh, addiction to Tootsie Roll Pops. Ooh. So, yeah, how, how many licks did it take to get to the center? I never had the patience to do that. <laughs> Go right to the heart of it. Yeah, okay. Is that what you do? Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, there's a new study out. Well, the new study shows that electric cars cause more pollution than regular ones. <laughs> okay, but remember, America, we don't drive Teslas for the environment. We drive Teslas to let others know we're better than them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you can pay somebody to do a study, and they're going to find out whatever you want to find out. So, you know, are uh, electric cars good for the environment? Well, how do you dispose of all those batteries? Yeah, which have a, all things considered, a relatively short lifespan, right? Yeah, you got to figure something out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're going to figure out some news if you're ready. Okay, let's let's figure out the news. World in California news headlines right now brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. CBS News Brief. New rules at Donald Trump's New York hush money trial after one juror, a nurse, was excused today when she revealed she felt intimidated because some aspects of her identity had been made public. CBS's Graham Cates at the courthouse. We're now barred from reporting that information, um, and that information will be redacted from transcripts. Attorneys still need to pick 12 jurors. President Biden's just announced new sanctions on Iran for its air attack against Israel. CBS's Linda Kenyon at the White House. President Biden says the sanctions will target leaders and entities connected to the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Iran's defense ministry, and the Iranian government's missile and drone program. The FCC says it's investigating 911 service outages in parts of four states overnight. Retired Las Vegas under Sheriff Christopher Darcy. The investigation will reveal, obviously, the cause 
And then we can use it as a learning opportunity in law enforcement to really shore up these things. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. My name is Sarah Griffin, and I'm the executive director of the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Food has the power to fuel communities, especially for those struggling to find their next meal. As a monthly donor, you can help the Imperial Valley Food Bank purchase food in bulk to meet the growing needs of the more than 25,000 people we serve each month at over 30 locations. Even small monthly gifts can go a long way in helping fight against hunger and food insecurity in the Imperial Valley. Please consider giving monthly by donating online at www.ivfoodbank.org. California headline news. Prosecutors in Santa Clara County charging two people with murder for allegedly providing the fentanyl that killed a toddler last year in San Jose. The so-called babysitting drug dealers accused of leaving opioids and drug paraphernalia out in the open where the baby could find them. DHF Rosen saying they're holding the suspects accountable. We charge drunk drivers for murder under circumstances like this. Uh, we hold businesses accountable for dangerous practices which lead to the murder of their employees. The child's parents were charged five months ago with the overdose homicide death of their child. Police in Long Beach shoot and kill an armed suspect at a popular park. Officers responding to reports of a man armed with a gun. They observed that the uh, suspect was in possession of a firearm. They gave orders for the uh, suspect to put down the firearm. However, he did not comply with those orders and an officer involved shooting occurred. Allison Gallagher with Long Beach Police. Investigators say one officer fired his weapon. The suspect did not fire his. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines presented by the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Become a hunger warrior. Contact the Imperial Valley Food Bank. The good folks at Wendy's have a revolutionary new product for you. Introducing the new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. It's like a time machine that takes you all the way back to now, the year 2024. It's the classic creamy, orangey flavor you remember. Dare I say, it's new timey. It's the flavor you grew up with, just all grown up. Head over to your local Wendy's establishment and get yours while supplies last. The new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. Here for the now, for now. Limited time only at participating Wendy's. Wouldn't it be great if life came with remote control? You know, you could hit pause when you needed to, or hit rewind, like that time you knocked down that wasp's nest. Uh-oh. Well, life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome, but pre-diabetes does. With early diagnosis and a few healthy changes, you can stop pre-diabetes before it leads to type 2 diabetes. To learn your risk, take the one-minute test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. And it's page one of the local news. Page one, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers, three locations in the Valley at El Centro Motors, Brawley Auto Center, and the Imperial Valley Mall. Here's George Gale with a Calexico election update. As of Wednesday night, there were uh, 2,774 yes votes for the recall of Raul Ureña and 994 no votes. There are uh, 2,709 yes votes for the recall of Gilberto Manzanares and 1,022 no votes. There remains an almost three to one margin for the recall of the Clexico City Council members. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. And in other news, the Salton Sea Authority Board meets today. A uh, meeting of the Salton Sea Authority Board of Directors will be held today. The meeting will get underway at 10 a.m. at the North Shore Fire Station 41 in Mecca. The meeting agenda and Zoom instructions are available on the Salton Sea Authority website. Health and Wellness Fair for Seniors. El Centro Senior Club hosting a health and wellness fair. It'll be Friday at the El Centro Community Center on 1st Street. It'll run from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. The fair will feature free blood pressure checks, cholesterol checks, overall health checks, informational booths, and free lunch for the first 150 seniors, 60 and older. Speakers will cover topics such as identity theft and emergency preparedness. There will be a Tai Chi Chuan presentation. There will also be free reading glasses, sunglasses with cases, free smoke alarms, including installation, and a free photo booth and more. KXO News. KXO News Time, 742. 
How about the next time you need service on your car? We come to you. Hi, this is Mike Allison for El Central Motors and Quick Lane. Our mobile service vans are an extension of our dealership service lane. We will come to you for an oil change, filters, brakes, batteries, tire rotation, and so much more. Hey, while your car is just sitting there at work, we'll take care of your service needs, and it doesn't cost any extra. Schedule your appointment now at ElCentralMotors.net. El Central Motors mobile service vans. What a great idea. A traffic stop results in arrests. Here's George Gale with that info. An El Centro Police Department officer made the traffic stop on a car. The driver and one of the passengers were found to have active warrants for their arrest. Initially, the pair refused to comply with orders to get out of the vehicle, but they were eventually detained. An automatic pistol was found in the waistband of one of the passengers, a convicted felon. Two arrests were made as a result of that traffic stop. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. And El Centro Food Truck Ordinance, City of El Centro Food Truck Ordinance, they are thinking about adjusting the ordinance. Before they do that, they want to hear what the residents think. The city wants to make it easier for food trucks to operate within city limits without impeding traffic or causing other issues. They are looking for the public's input on the proposed changes. They are conducting a survey in English and Spanish. The survey can be found on the City of El Centro website. KXO News Time, 740. And page one of the local news has been a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They have three locations in the valley. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. At Heart Insurance Center, we know finding the right insurance protection for you, your family, your business, and your future is very important. Visit our new Brawley office at 580 South 1st Street. Call 760-344-1400 or our El Centro office in the Prince Plaza, 1503 North Imperial Avenue, Suite 102. Call 760-352-0422 or visit our website, insureheart.com, to learn more. Since 1945, we have a heart for personal service. And we have page two of the local news with weather brought to you by Burgers and Beer. Don't forget Burgers and Beer with uh, lunch specials daily, Monday through Friday. And of course, happy hour, 3 till 6 p.m. every day. The CBP finds something fishy. Uh, Might have been the New River. Here's George Gale with that. At about 8.30 p.m. Sunday, a car entered the downtown Klexco port of entry through the Sentry Lane. A car was referred to secondary inspection where a non-intrusive inspection of the vehicle was conducted. Port's imaging system observed irregularities in an ice chest in the trunk. CBP K-9 team alerted to the ice chest. The ice chest was full of fish and 25 packages of methamphetamine. The drugs weighed nearly 50 pounds. Driver, 34-year-old man, was turned over to Homeland Security Investigations. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Goodwill Imperial County. Goodwill Imperial County is almost ready to open. They are renovating the old Lucky Store building at 351 Wake Avenue in El Centro. They will be opening a retail operation, including a retail store and outlet center. They expect to be open this summer. The donation center opened this week. Their preferred donations include clothing, shoes, linens, household goods such as pans, dishes, blenders, home decor, and more. Electronics, phones, monitors, VCRs, sports equipment, furniture, and more. Big list. The center is open Tuesday through Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And we have a free dumpster disposal day, Caltrans, to provide free dumpsters. It'll be Saturday in Imperial. As part of the second annual Clean California Community Days aimed at cleaning up and beautifying the Golden State, Caltrans welcomes the public to bring non-hazardous unwanted household household items. The dumpsters will be set up at the Imperial Valley Fairgrounds Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Caltrans staff will be on site to accept approved waste and debris free of charge. And a leash cutting ceremony. There will be a leash cutting ceremony in El Centro. It's like a ribbon cutting 
but instead of a ribbon, they'll be cutting a leash. The ceremony is to mark the opening of Bark Park in El Centro. The dog park is located on Adams Avenue in El Centro. The leash cutting will begin 9 a.m. Saturday. The innovative dog park promises to be safe, enjoyable space for pets to play and socialize. The project costs over $1.1 million. Phil and Elise Heald donated 500000 with Measure P covering the remaining balance. In recognition of their generous support, a plaque commemorating the philanthropic philanthropic spirit of Phil and Elise Heald, the park's largest donor, will adorn the park. Due to loud music and an expected large crowd, those attending the ceremony are asked not to bring their pets. The park will be open to dogs at 11 a.m. Saturday. The regular hours of the park will be 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Sunday. KXO News Time, 748. Did you know that Burgers and Beer has happy hour every day from 3 to 6? With specials on select appetizers, beer specials, and more. Ask about drink specials all day with $5 drinks like Margarita Monday, Tonic Tuesday, Wine Down Wednesday, and Thirsty Thursday. Our weekday lunch specials include a soft drink from only $8 to $11. With tons of TVs, we've got you covered for any sport you want to watch. Burgers and Beer with five locations proudly serving you, your family, and friends since 1985. Burgers and Beer for the best burger in town. The National Weather Service says dry conditions and above normal temperatures are expected through early next week. Daily afternoon high temperatures will continue to top out in the low to mid 90s through the end of the week. Temperatures expected to warm up to the mid to upper 90s Sunday and Monday and potentially reaching triple digits. Otherwise, a weak disturbance will pass over the desert southwest for the end of the week, bringing widespread breezy conditions on Friday. 94, the high in the valley yesterday, 61, our overnight low. Mostly sunny today with a high near 95, southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Mostly cloudy tonight, then gradually becoming clear. Look for a low of about 62. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, becoming south. Winds could gust as high as 20 miles an hour. Sunny on Friday with a high again near 95. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming northwest 10 to 15 in the afternoon, with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. Sunny on Saturday with a high near 97. West wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, then becoming south. Sunny on Sunday again with a high near 98. East-southeast wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour. 67 degrees, 37% relative humidity. Wind out of the south-southeast, 3 to 5 miles an hour. Local news, page 2 and the weather brought to you by Burgers and Beer. The place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bring the family, meet your friends at Burgers and Beer. Demand for lithium is skyrocketing. And Imperial Valley is home to one of the largest lithium deposits in the world. While this presents an opportunity for new local jobs and businesses, there are also risks. Local lithium projects can consume tens of millions of gallons of water each year, and without appropriate measures, can also expose families to dangerous chemicals and hazardous waste. Imperial Valley's lithium economy must not come at the cost of our water and health. Proposed lithium projects must keep local families informed and commit to maximum community protections. Join us in demanding responsible lithium development. For more information, visit us at ccbhealth.org. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. NBA action. And there was some. It's uh, still play in time. Okay. And uh, the teams that uh, played in. Well, the uh, 76ers slipped by the Heat, 105-104. And that means uh, the uh, Philadelphia 76ers will get a chance to uh, play in the, the, uh, in the finals. Yeah. Okay. Well, not quite to the finals. It'll be six months before we get to the final game. And meanwhile, the Bulls beat up on uh, the Hawks, 131-116. And, uh, well, the Bulls will uh, move on as well. 
Coming up, we'll take a look at Major League Baseball. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. Day. Major League Baseball, the Padres, uh, they got shut out, one nothing. Uh, Padres uh, took it, uh, yeah, lost to the Brewers. Brewers scored one run on three hits and uh, blanked the Padres. Elsewhere, Rangers edged the Tigers 5-4. Braves beat the Astros 5-4 in 10 innings. Royals over the White Sox 4-2. Yankees beat the Blue Jays 6-4. to four. Nationals shut out the Dodgers 2-0. Giants over the Marlins 3-1. Orioles outlasted the Twins 4-2. Mets pounded the Pirates 9-1. It was the Athletics uh, clubbing the Cardinals 6-3. Cubs over the Diamondbacks 5-3. Mariners beat the Reds 5 to 1. The White Sox edged the Royals 2 to 1. Phillies nipped the Rockies 7 to 6 and it was the Angels outlasting the Rays 5-4. Oh, the Red Sox blanked the Guardians 2 to nothing. And uh, a man has been charged in federal court in Illinois in the transport of millions of dollars worth of master's merchandise and memorabilia stolen from Augusta National Golf Club in Georgia. The document filed uh, in U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Illinois accuses Richard Globensky of transporting the items across state lines, knowing the same had been stolen, converted, and taken by fraud. And that's it. For Sports Time, brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmht.org for more information about Pioneers. Attention golfers, Golf Liquidation in Yuma is having a huge liquidation sale. Right now, save on over 800 golf bags and over 10,000 new and used golf clubs. Callaway, TaylorMade, and more. Men's and ladies golf clubs are now only $6. Golf Liquidation has their own hitting area and putting green. It's their huge liquidation sale happening now at Golf Liquidation, 10 581 South Frontage Road in Yuma. And right now, it's a look at financial news, a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security and Southwest Postal Service, the only postal service offering 24-hour-a-day, 365-days-a-year service, Southwest Postal, 4th and Ohio, El Centro. Law enforcement officials in 19 countries have shut down an online platform that earned at least a million dollars by selling phishing kits to cyber criminals helping them launch attacks on tens of thousands of people nationwide. The operation, led by Metropolitan Police in the United Kingdom, targeted Lab Host, which officials said was set up in 2021 to make it easier for hackers to create fake websites aimed at tricking people into revealing email addresses, passwords, and bank details. 37 suspects were arrested and more than 70 locations were searched in the UK and across the world. LabHost had obtained 480,000 bank card numbers, 64,000 PIN numbers, as well as more than 1 million passwords used by websites and other online services. And Disneyland employees who perform as many of the theme park's beloved characters have filed to have a vote on whether to join the Actors' Equity Association, which represents live performers all across the country, from actors on Broadway to strippers in Los Angeles. The group had announced a union organizing effort in February, but if very often such campaigns fall short of filing to hold a vote. The union announced yesterday that it has filed cards signed by more than two-thirds of the 1,700 employees seeking to have the neighbor, National Labor Relations Board conduct an election. The uh, cast members 
who bring the characters and parades to life have been non-union since Disneyland Resort opened in the 1950s. And uh, they've watched other workers in the park unionize all around them, according to Equity President Kate Schindel. Union organizing efforts have picked up in the last year, especially in the wake of a number of high-profile contract wins by unions that provided union members large pay raises. Wall Street showing green right now, the Dow up as the market is absorbing strong economic data. The uh, Dow up almost 300 points at 38,543. The S&P 500 up 30 at 5,051. And uh, the NASDAQ up 79 points at 15,761. Gold up 260 an ounce. Oil down 21 cents a barrel. Southwest Security has been protecting properties 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, right here at Imperial and Coachella Valleys. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been in the private security business for over 25 years and have always made it my mission to always provide my clients with the highest quality security services available. Your satisfaction is my number one priority. And don't forget Southwest Postal, the only postal center in Imperial Valley with 24-7, 365 access to your post office box. Access when you need it. Located on the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. It will be mostly sunny today with a high near 95. Southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Mostly cloudy tonight, then gradually becoming clear. Look for a low of about 62. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Those winds will then turn out of the south. Sunny on Friday with a high again near 95. West wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, gusting up to 25 miles an hour. The winds become northwest 10 to 15 miles an hour in the afternoon. 69 degrees, downtown El Centro, 35% relative humidity. Wind out of the south-southeast, 5 to 7 miles an hour. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company that protects you, your home, your business, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Don't forget about our KXO website, kxoradio.com, and what we've been doing right now for the last 30 minutes available on our YouTube channel. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. This is CBS News on the app. Riley Auto Parts. I'm Steve Kathan. At the Trump hush money trial, the judge has dismissed one of the seven jurors chosen earlier this week, a woman who said she might be influenced by media coverage and could not be fair and unbiased. CBS's Robert Costa is covering the case. Jury selection could end sometime later this week or early next week, meaning the opening arguments of the trial could happen within the next seven days. That makes this situation pretty complicated for former President Donald Trump. While he might want to stretch it out as much as possible while he runs again for the presidency, this judge is moving swiftly. Members of the Kennedy family are publicly endorsing President Biden today in Philadelphia. They have distanced themselves from Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who's running for president as an independent. CBS's Aaron Navarro. The significance of the Kennedy family coming out now is that it's a blow to Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s challenge to President Biden. And the source familiar with the Biden campaign's planning told me that this has been months in the making and that the Kennedy family came forward because they wanted to send a message kind of to their relative RFK Jr. The severe storms, including suspected tornadoes, have caused damage in parts of Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, and western Pennsylvania. Stephen Kendall and his seven kids live in Hard Hat, Basiris, Ohio. I told all my kids, we're alive, and we came out screaming to everybody that we were alive and we made it, because we're happy that we made it. The FCC is investigating 911 outages overnight in four states. South Dakota had the worst of it, along with parts of Texas, Nevada, and Nebraska. In Italy, at a G7 summit, Ukraine's foreign minister urged the U.S. House to pass an aid bill. One and the only issue on my agenda here at the G7 ministerial is air defense. And uh, for obvious reasons, the role of the United States on the, in the matter of air defense is fundamental. House Speaker Johnson has indicated a vote on the package could come Saturday. 
CBS's Jerika Duncan has more now on the move by the NBA to ban Raptors center Jonte Porter in a gambling scandal. An NBA investigation found Porter gave a better information about his own health status prior to a Toronto's game on March 20th. A better placed $80,000 on Porter not hitting certain in-game milestones. Porter left the game after just three minutes, claiming he felt ill. The bet was frozen because of the unusual activity. Porter was also found to have placed 13 bets on NBA games, including bets on his own team to lose, although he didn't play in those games. Wall Street's a strong day for stocks so far. The Dow is up 290. This is CBS News. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. Get the parts and service you need fast from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Some people just know the best places to eat around town. Those are the people who know to choose Allstate. They know exactly where to go to get exactly what you're wanting. They know where to find the spiciest hot pot, the gooeyest brownies, and the tenderest, most flavorful portobello steak. Those people also know that safe drivers save 40% with Allstate. Saving 40% is based on the national average premium savings for Allstate Auto customers with a clean driving record versus those without. Savings vary by state and vary based on how you buy. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Allstate Fair and Cash and Insurance Company and affiliates North Brick, Illinois. I am a waitress, so I know the difference between regular shoes and Skechers slip-resistant work shoes. Skechers slip-resistant work shoes make my job go like this. Here's your Pasta Primavera. Thanks. While regular shoes make my job go like this. Here's your Pasta Primavera. Whoa! whoa. And that difference is why I wear Skechers slip-resistant work shoes to keep me safe on my feet. Plus, they're easy to clean and have Skechers exclusive air-cooled memory foam for comfort throughout my shift. Get America's number one selling work shoe at Skechers.com, a Skechers store near you, or wherever work shoes are sold. There's a sweet job opening in Pennsylvania. American Dairy Association has posted a position that'll make butterfat lovers sing. Honorary CIO, Chief Ice Cream Officer. The job pays five grand to road trip to creameries and dairy farms across the state for the month of July. Tasting ice cream, vlogging about visits, documenting the journey, and creating content for the ADA's social channels. If you're interested, you can apply on TikTok or Instagram. Deborah Rodriguez. CBS News. Toyota is recalling about 55,000 vehicles because of an issue that could cause rear doors to open unexpectedly. It affects 23 and 24 Prius and Prius HEV hybrids. The automaker says water could short circuit rear door latches. Steve Kathan, CBS News. <laughs> It's our favorite Leaf Filter Trusted Pro, Matt. Matt, come in, come in. Hi, Mrs. Sparks. You wanted me to stop by? Is everything okay with your Leaf Filter Gutter Protection System? Okay. Of course, silly. We wanted you to stop by for dinner as our way of thanking you. Yes, to thank you for that free gutter inspection, the free estimate, and uh, what was the other thing? That lifetime guarantee. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Sparks, those are just Leaf Filter's policies. Everyone who calls Leaf Filter gets a trusted pro to come out for a free gutter inspection and estimate. And every Leaf Filter installation comes with a lifetime guarantee. So it's not... Not just us? No, sir. We don't want anyone to worry about clogged gutters ever again. You mean everyone gets this level of service? Everyone. They just need to visit leafilter.com slash build to schedule their free inspection. Okay, okay, but you must be starving. You work so hard. Ready to love your gutter protection as much as we do? Visit leafilter.com slash build and get up to 30% off today. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per house. you got Harold Buckley with the best oldies on the radio. Oh, God, I did. I love it. I love it.